Welcome to another top list from Top Lists Weekly. Today, we'll take a look at the top five funniest quotes from Dr. David Spiegel's testimony in the Depp vs. Heard defamation trial. Number five. So it's 20, about 20% that suffer from IP intimate partner violence. All right. You've never conducted any empirical research on individuals who experienced intimate partner violence, have you, sir? If your definition is trials, is that what you're saying? Yes. Like pharmaceutical trials, or what are you saying? Is that what you're saying? Because I've done review articles on patients who suffered from trauma. So the answer is, oh, I haven't done any studies like where you uh, give them medication for treatment or try one treatment versus another. I've reviewed the body of literature on intimate partner violence to get two review articles, yes. So you, so you've read about it is what you just testified to. I would have to disagree with you on that, sir. Reading about it and writing a review article are completely two different things, sir. Number four. So in my opinion, based on my re a review of the evidence, based on my clinical experience, based on my publishing experience, based on my teaching experience, that. Mr. Depp has behaviors that are consistent with both someone who has a substance use disorder as well as consistent behaviors for someone who is a perpetrator of intimate partner violence. Number three. Hear it, but there we go. Um, so, you, you haven't written any chapters of any books specifically about IPV. Again, I think I gone over that. I've written two articles on that, and I've written parts of chapters, and dissociative identity disorder, I should add, where I did write a chapter on, is completely based on trauma and intimate partner violence. Right. I'm not asking you about trauma, because you want to talk about trauma. I'm asking you about IPV specifically. I will reiterate again, you cannot separate intimate partner violence and say that is a separate rubric aside from trauma. Number two. So again, in terms of the acting part, we do know that he needed his lines fed to him for movies. Part of that could have been also due to, and I don't know which movie, and please forgive me about that, that he actually confessed he did a movie entirely wasted. So I imagine it would be harder to do that. Um, additionally, like I said, when I looked at that position, you can tell that the processing speed was down. His thinking rate was down. If your thinking rate is down, and I'm not talking about again, I'm getting old in life. I'm probably not as sharp as I was at 25, okay? But I'm talking about it so slow that when we're trying to move on to other questions, we're still trying to answer the original data that's presented to us. So attention span is very much impaired. And if your attention span is impaired, your memory is going to be impaired it is inescapable that that's going to happen. Uh, but again, I'm specifically referencing the time with Ms. Hearns and Mr. Depp's relationship. So we're talking about that. Number one. Half your practice is trauma and a subset of that practice is IPV, correct? Which is, a, actually I treat the national average of patients. About 20% of patients suffer from it. And that's about my practice number. That, except you're discounting the fact that half your practice is not trauma at all. So 10% of your practice is IPV. I don't know if the numbers add up exactly like I'm that. I'm just using yours. I don't know if I'm doing, uh, I don't know if those numbers add up like that, uh, because I'm not sure if that's the case. If you take 25%, then maybe 12.5% of my practice, that's being rather specific. So again, a significant number of my patients have suffered from intimate partner violence. I see it on a daily basis, and I'm not sure exactly why I'm getting asked the same question again. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button.